Welcome back, everyone. Uh, we're still working on beta testing our mod pack that I'm working on with Let's Play Willy and um, uh, myself. We are uh, we finally have come up with a name for the mod pack, and we're decided to call it uh, Lab Coats and Broomsticks because it is a combination of tech, which I've got a little bit of tech over here, with a touch of magic. We've got a little bit of magic over there. Uh, so we're going to work on the magic side of things a little bit today. Uh, there's one thing I wanted to show you, and that's that I, I, I made a windmill and raised it way up high in the sky. Uh, basically, it's directly above this power line. So uh, this power line goes way up into the sky, probably around 220, I think, blocks up. And um, that means it's going to generate lots of energy for us. However, I uh, can't show that to you because we're currently in the middle of a blood moon. And if I try and sleep to make it day, it says, I don't feel tired right now. Uh, so, And the monsters up there are crazy. So I'm not heading out there right now. Um, a couple of updates about the pack. First off, you'll notice that we've got a project table here. Uh, the project table is from blue power we added blue power to it and the reason that we added blue power to the pack was because we took out tinkers we found that we weren't using tinkers for very much and the only reason that we really had it in the pack was so that we could have a crafting table that didn't forget a recipe when you put stuff in there so let's say i make a recipe um is that a recipe it's not a recipe let's say i make a recipe like that and then i close it oh i forgot something i go to get it i come back uh, the recipe is still there. Um, so that's basically why we had tinkers. And um, what it was doing is it was really making a whole bunch of extra ores that we really didn't need. So there, there was, uh, we, if we look at this, we've already got lots and lots of copper. And I'm able to stack all of this copper because it's all from the same pack. It's from Thermal Foundation. Um, notice that I have some copper from Mechanism. So what I can do is I made an ore dictionificator. Where is that? It's right here. And I want to transfer that over. Oh, um, it must be that that's the one that we've decided on. So let me take the industrial, or no, I'll take the thermal foundation copper. I'll throw it in here. And it's going to convert over to industrial craft copper, which they're interchangeable, but they're not stackable. So um, Tinker's added even another version of copper to the list that we wanted to get rid of. You'll also notice that my base looks a lot different. Uh, I raised the ceiling up and decorated everything. These torches are temporary until I get enough glowstone to make some redstone lamps. Um, I also made a portal to the nether. What's up, buddy? Die. Okay, I don't need you in here. Um, but I made a portal to the nether, and things in there are crazy. Um, biomes of plenty add some really uh, bananas stuff out there, and uh, I went there and died a horrible death to um, uh, due to uh, some kind of wolf thing. Um, I still have its tongue somewhere over here. Yeah, tongue of dog. Uh, so uh, not going in there today. I gotta wait until I get some better armor. I think. Uh, so let's take a look at the goals for today. Um, did I finish? Uh, yeah, so we added blue project. We took out tinkers. Uh, was there anything else? Oh, yes. I don't know if this was in last time, but we added Jurassic Craft so that we can clone dinosaurs in our little laboratories because remember, it's uh, lab coats and broomsticks. So we want to clone those dinosaurs and, uh, you know, hopefully they don't take over the park like in the movies. Spoiler alert. Uh, so let's take a look at the goals for today. Uh, today, I want to make uh, arcane violet crystals. I want to give you a quick uh, cluster tutorial for how to use arcane violet crystals to generate power. I want to dye some sheep. I'm going to make an arcane ingot. And eventually, I want to make a vortex controller. So these are all parts of the Aura Cascade, which if you have that installed... You start out the game with Encyclopedia Aura. Now this book is supposed to add, whoops, act like a quest log, but it forgets which quests you've done. So don't depend on that for that. Um, however, it does get, reward you when you complete a quest. Uh, so that's good. Um, 
So over here is my farm. I built a little archway and I've got a place to grow wheat and I've got a whole bunch of sheep in here. What's up, Mr. Sheep? Uh, but I need different colors for Aura Cascade. So the first step to doing that is making arcane violet crystals. Now that is actually not too difficult. I already had found uh, these flowers out in the world and I got some purple dye. So I've got purple dye. I'm going to take purple dye. Let me get that out of there. And I'm going to surround it with an aura crystal violet. And I'll just grab one stack of them because that's all I need. And now I've got aura crystals. We can check that off. Goodbye. Done. All right, now the cluster tutorial. Now in order to make the cluster tutorial, before I do that actually, I want to make a... Um, uh, the, I forget what it's called. Let me see. Do, do, do. Whoops. The cascading colorer. So what I need for that is I need a bunch of wool. Uh, so let me grab my shears. And I'll come in here. Don't you leave. And I'm going to get a bunch of wool. Now you'll notice these guys, whoops, uh, these guys are now, they're probably cold, sorry guys, um, but they're not going to regrow any wool, and that's because there's no grass down here. Now I don't have silk touch, and that could be a problem, except that when I make the cascade colorer, um, here we'll go back and see if we can read it, i uh, die. Uh, the cascading colorer provides a good source of colored wool. Provide it with power. It will both replenish the wool on nearby sheep and dye them random colors. So it's very, very cool. So I'm going to go ahead and make the cascading colorer, which um, I'm going to need two iron ingots. So we'll go into the processed ore. And we will make a pair of shears that are not damaged, and those will go back in the chest. And then we will put that there and surround it with wool. And now we've got a cascading color. So I'm going to put this in the room, but it's not going to do anything because it needs to be powered. Get out of the way. All right, so let's clear this out. I've got a spot right there. Back off, get out of the way. Come on. There we go. All right, now. Excellent. What I need to do next is to get, um, I forget what they're called, but I know that I have them. Or maybe, I, oh, there they are. I need aura nodes. So this is going to be the cluster tutorial. Um, and this is just the simplest cluster you can make. There's more complicated clusters that you can make. And clusters are of, for Violet Aura are really handy because they help you power uh, things. Basically, the way that Aura Cascade works is each one of these types of crystals, and it works with the white ones too, has a certain amount of power in it, or not power, but aura in it. And what you want the aura to do is to fall down. So what I'm going to do is go back out and get something to scaffold up with. And let me put that away. I don't need that with me. Now, maybe I should have done this before I got the sheep down here. Um, but that's okay. So, I am looking for... What was I looking for? I was looking for... Oh, yes. Wood. Um, this is... Once you have the atomic disassembler, this is a fantastic... Any type of log is a really great um, scaffold. And the reason for that is because the atomic disassembler can be set to vein mine. And so, it'll break all of the... Put it on normal. It'll break all of the logs at the same time. Get out of the way. Whoops. Get out of the way. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to hop up into here. And I, I came in here ahead of time and cleared this area out. So I just hopped up here and, and dug through real quick. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack jump up. And 
and I will actually give myself a little room. On all sides. All right, and then what I'm going to do is right there, I'm going to put an aura node. I'll put one right above it. See that they're connected with a little um, particle effect has gone between them. Now I can get rid of, let me make sure that this is on normal and not vain. And I can break that wood because I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to do the same thing on all four sides. So now we've got a cluster of aura nodes. And the way that violet aura works is that it continuously grows when placed in an aura node. So if I want to place violet aura in a node, it's going to continually go up as it bounces around these nodes. So 185. How did it stop? There we go. And so now you can see it's starting, it's it's bouncing around and doing its thing. And I'm going to, um, and it, once it bounces around in here enough and gathers up enough in the middle, it drops down to this one. Now I am going to drop down. I'll put this to vein mine. And we should start seeing power move down from above. Come on. Oh, yep, there we go. We just saw it. Yeah, so now it's shooting power down. Now let's watch. You should see a little green particle particle effect going into the colorer, and it just made that sheep grow some, uh, grow some wool and change colors. So let me pick up all of this scaffolding, and I'm going to hop down in here. So now we have any color wool we need. You just have to wait. And that's a little crowded in there, but that's okay. So now I can go ahead and come back in here. I'll be like, oh, uh, gray. Sure, I'll take some gray and some blue and some purple. Purple and some green and some brown and some red. And so I can go ahead and get all those colors at any time that I need um, different colored wool, which will make uh, it easier to, you know, not only to decorate the place, but... Um, these walls are very, very important for the next step. So the cluster tutorial, done. But I'll say with a question mark, because you can make, uh, I might do a more complicated one later. So we've got that. Now, uh, dyeing some sheep, done. Uh, arcane ingot. So in order to make the arcane ingot, uh, before I do, let me go ahead and... I'm going to uh, put these wools into this book, and um, after that, we'll do the arcane ingot. So I will be right back. Okay, the next goal is the arcane ingot. Now, if I go into Encyclopedia Ara and I come down arcane ingot, it says here, arcane ingots are made in a cascading processor. I'm in luck. I made one of those um, earlier in order to uh, cascading processor. Yeah, I had to do one earlier for, for that, even though it doesn't remember that I did it. Um, so they're made in a, in a arcane or a cascading processor, which I have right here. Now, this is another uh, machine that requires uh, constant power. Now, the reason my building is so, or my roof is so high in here is because Having a higher roof means that the aura can fall farther. And the farther that the aura falls, the more power it will impart to the node it lands on. Uh, so what I need to do now is, let me just, where am I going to put this? I actually should have planned this out ahead of time. I guess I'll just set it right here for now. I'll move these, these chests later. So I'm going to put that right there. And... The cascading processor, I'll set. Where do I want to set it? In front of it? Behind it? Set it behind it. All right, so we've got our processor right there. Now, I need to do some scaffolding. 
And I want to do the same thing. However, I need one plus five. I'm going to need more than than that. Well, am I? Okay, I don't want to put that there. I'm going to put this more in the middle. Uh, so we'll put the processor right there and that right there. All right, so I'm going to need some some blocks to actually use these the wood. Let me hop up one, two, three, four. Actually, I'll just go up as high as I can. I hear you, zombies. I'm going to move over. All right. Now, this is the middle. Let me just do this at the highest. Okay. And I'm going to repeat what I did before with a little change. I may have to make more uh, aura nodes in order to do this, but that's okay. So I'm going to put one, two, three, four, and let me just think for a second. So I also want to, yes, I need to move up just a little bit more. So I'll move that up, two. And then, is this such a 3x3? Three three? It is. And I'll do that over here. I'll do that over here. Because I need room for these aura nodes. And I need to get rid of this dirt so that I can replace it with stone when I come back up. Because it looks better that way. And I'll have to put some stone there. All right, but that looks good. So what I need to do now is I need to get up just a little bit higher. All right. And I want to repeat the process. So what I'll do is put a block here. Wait, um, let me just think for a second. Do I want to do it that way? Don't. I need to move this over. Well, you know what? Yeah, I do want to do it that way. Uh, so I'm going to move this over some more. On all sides. Wait, did I go? Yes, I did. I went up. All right, so that's going to need to be filled in way back there. There, now I can just make sure, you know, I'm going to temporarily torch this place up so that nothing can spawn if I'm too far away. And I need more aura nodes. Okay, so I went down, I made some more aura nodes, and what I'm going to do now is, must be out of, must have used all of the wood in order to do that, that's okay. This will differentiate things, make it easier for me to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to put a block on each side of these. And the reason I'm doing this is because it makes it easier for me to see not where I want that. Dang it, I do not want to... There. All right, so now... What I want to do is put an aura node right there and I'll put one right there and I'll put one right here and I'll put one right here and then just above it I'm going to remake another cluster above each one. So let me bring that up a little bit. There, that goes there, 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 and there. And now I can break that 
and that, and that, and that. Because we don't want these clusters to communicate with each other. So let me stand in the middle here. And I'll switch this over to 5x5. Five five. Make a little more room, and I'll fill in this ceiling afterwards. All right. So let's switch this to 3x3. Three three. Actually, just need to move one. So I'll put a, I'll put a, um, right there and there. Put one right there. Put one right there. I'm going to do the same thing on all four sides. So basically, we've got a cluster here, shooting down. Got that going down twice. So that is actually a waste. Let me fix that. All right, good. So we want, let me just look here. I don't need that. I need this. Put that there. Two, three, four. All right, so we've got this cluster shooting down into that cluster, or into that um, node, which will then send its power over to this one, which will pull up into here and send it down. Uh, so I'm going to replicate that on all four sides, and I will be right back. Okay, I've got more, or I ran out of aura nodes, so I went down and made some more, and I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up camera if I can find a way over right there. All right, so we've got... Uh, that one done. I finished that one. Uh, these other two are going to be pretty easy to do. Because those, are, yep, they're at the right height. So I'll put an aura node here. One there. I'll break those two. And then I'll put one on each side. And I'll do the same thing over here. And what I'm, what I've done here is I made a um, a block so that these clusters cannot communicate with each other. So now I've got uh, purple, and let me just. I don't want to quite turn this on yet. I'm not stuck in here, am I? All right, I'm going to have to break that, and then I'll put it back. All right, so what I want to do before I uh, finish is I want to clean this up and then I'll turn it on in a second. So I'm going to clean that up and then I'll add the power to it and uh, we'll see how it works. Okay, so we've got this all cleaned up in here and I know it doesn't look perfect, but it looks good enough for, uh, for something that's pretty much hidden. In fact, I think I might have overdone it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put one purple, um, what are these called again? Arcane Crystal Violet into each cluster. And oh, there's an Enderman down there. What are you doing in my house? And those are going to start to... This has happened so many times. Um, let me just... Trying to block that. Alright, good. So that's good. And now I'm going to... Turn off, I'm going to put this on normal, break a couple, and then I want to replace that one stone. I think that looks pretty good from below, and so now I'll just hop down, and you're going to die a horrible death. Alright, and then I'll put this back on vein, get that out of there, and then finally we'll pick up all this stuff, and you can see... The purple is bouncing around up there. And now it should drop down. Let me get a better view. Yeah, there we go. It just connected. So as you can see, it's getting energy. And right here, we're getting lots and lots of power. 
And so now I can go ahead and check off. Oh, no, I can't. That's uh, the arcane ingot is the next thing. So what I've done is I have given you a better version of that tutorial that I was just showing you. I think that looks okay. I should have moved it over. I might do that off camera, move everything over one. Um, the problem is, is when I made this room, I did not make it um, an odd number. So maybe, maybe I'll move it. Maybe I won't. I, I haven't decided yet. Uh, but that kind of bothers me that it's off center. But I also kind of want to try and get away from having symmetry everywhere. I always end up doing that. That's one of my, the, the, the I, I think un, unsymmetrical stuff. Ooh, I got a, an ender pearl out of that guy. Uh, unsymmetrical stuff is always um, something that I, I try to do. So maybe I'll just leave that there like that. It might bother some people with OCD, but we'll see how it looks. So next I need to make an arcane crystal. Now, in order to do that, I need wool. Um, I have, where's my book? All right, an arcane ingot. That's, that's the next goal. Uh, so I need an arcane white ingot. All right, let's see how to make that. Um, it doesn't say, but I think I remember, I think it's white wool. And an iron ingot. So we'll see if this works. I'm going to take the white wool, drop that, the ingot, drop that, and we'll see what happens. All right, so we've got an arcane white ingot. So good, we've got that done. Now, and let me check that off. Arcane ingot, done. The last part of this video is the vortex controller. All right, the vortex controller is made with gold. Uh, we've got five red and a diamond. Uh, now the gold is easy. The five red is the harder part on this. One, two, three, four, five. And I need five red wool. Uh, now before I put the wool in here and I have energy in here to spare. So I'll take out five of them or six apparently. I'll just put one back. And now I'll take the five wool, five ingots. And this should actually happen pretty quickly because I'm getting lots of extra power. So it's going to uh, convert these over for me uh, pretty quickly. And one after the first one, I'll cut until they're all done. So, okay, so they are all done. Now we've got five arcane red ingots. We're gonna get that out of there. We'll put these along the bottom. We will get a diamond and three gold. And I don't know why I always have to feel like a stand over here. I'm going to do it upside down just to change things up. And now we've got a vortex controller. All right. So a vortex controller uh, also needs four vortex pedestals, uh, which I have right there. Now, I don't think I have room there for another um, magic device. So I'm going to put this down. Uh, where am I going to put this? You know what? Maybe. Ooh, I'm thinking for a second. You know what? Um, I'm not going to put this down right now. Uh, well, yes, I am. I'm just going to show you real quick how it works, and but I'm not going to uh, power it because this episode's starting to get long. Uh, so what you do is you take the vortex pedestals and you put them on each side. And they have to have aura falling from the top. And let's say I want to make a recipe of an, four carrots, which is not an actual recipe. Uh, and that's why it says no valid recipe selected. But I put the correct items on top of these and then I start shooting aura down from above and they will put air, um, energy into this vortex controller, which kind of looks like a crafting table uh, until um, each one reaches its uh, correct amount. And then boom, you get a new item. So 
Uh, let me break these down, and I will um, apparently put a hole in the ground that I didn't want to put there. Let me just fix that, and that is going to be it for this episode. Um, next time, I'll show you... I'm, I'm going to possibly move this, and if I don't move it, what I'm going to do is I might put the Vortex uh, controller there. I'm not sure where it's going to go, but next time, uh, that'll be done. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And you can check out uh, more of Lab Coats and Broomsticks in the playlist. Uh, you can also see Let's Play Willy uh, doing his version of the beta testing of our uh, mod pack over on his channel, which I will link below. Again, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Uh, until then, bye-bye.